see technology is very good numbers coming in and this is after many quarters of a disappointment that the company has reported <coughs> so this time the dollar revenue growth has come in at 5.3 percent uh, quarter on quarter the profits have jumped by almost 70 percent quarter on quarter and it's a big bump up in their margins now they're <coughs> sitting at almost 14 percent margins versus nine and a half percent remember this stock has already fallen about 30 percent this year on the back of many quarters of underperformance in earnings but this quarter there's been a huge surprise that the company has de delivered um, the uh, com the margin expansion in quarter two is sustainable that's what the company has indicated to a lot of analysts as well so let's get the management on board now Kishore Patil the co-founder CEO and MD of KPIT technologies joins us to talk about that uh, Mr. Patil good morning and it's uh, good speaking with you this morning it was a very strong quarter for uh, KPIT technologies dollar revenue growth of five and a half percent almost most. Was there a benefit of a one-off and therefore is this quarter's performance sustainable? So I, I would look at uh, this result as we had mentioned that uh, our first focus was uh, getting back to profitability and we have been in a position to show significant improvement in the profitability. Uh, we have been in a position to absorb uh, the salary increases uh, which happened during this quarter uh, uh, as we had postponed it for the last quarter. In spite of that, we have been in a position to show uh, four to five percent increase in the EBITDA margins, and uh, that's uh, that is that is what our focus is. And uh, as we had also said, that quarter three, uh, the, uh, these EBITDA margins are absolutely sustainable. In terms of growth, naturally, this is uh, a significant growth. We uh, the next quarter, uh, naturally, we lose about two to three percent just because of the days. Uh, number of days in that quarter, but uh, we are sure that uh, we will be in a position to um, at least uh, have uh, the same uh, uh, set of uh, numbers uh, uh, in terms of top line. Um, we look at it flattish or uh, uh, a little bit higher. Uh, so that's how we look at it. So we do believe these are sustainable because uh, the underlying uh, growth uh, under these numbers have come out of two, three trends. Uh, one is uh, uh, automotive growth. The second is a growth uh, out of utilities. In terms of region, we have grown uh, in uh, Europe, uh, we have grown in uh, Asia, and we have had uh, marginal growth in US. Uh, and uh, more or less across the practice areas, we have uh, grown. So we do believe this is a sustainable growth. Naturally, 5% uh, per quarter is not. Uh, uh, is, is, is a good growth and uh, we, we generally have these few quarters in a year like this. Uh, but uh, uh, overall, this is uh, overall a sustainable performance. But you're saying that Q3 is going to be flattish because of number of working days. Right, yeah. Okay. Yes. All right, so let's talk about uh, the growth rate for FY16. Uh, if you compare it with the industry, can you catch up? So uh, for us this year has been a, a bit different. Uh, generally, we are always, uh, you know, on top of <laughs> that uh, growth trajectory. But this year we had, uh, uh, you know, we started on a very uh, weak uh, last year quarter of Q4 and hence our priority uh, has been to really set our performance in place. And as we have said, we didn't want to do it just one time, but we wanted to relook at all our processes put in system which make it sustainable and uh, that's what our objective uh, is so for q16 uh, we believe uh, what we have uh, said uh, at the uh, start of this year uh, we will be in a position to make uh, that kind of numbers what uh, we have uh, told uh, hopefully we can um, um, do a little bit better because of uh, where we are today but uh, no, we, we do believe that this gives us a very good hope for us to get back uh, to at least industry level, if not uh, higher growth, hence forward. For this particular year, because first, two quarter, uh, first quarter was not the best, we would not like to comment on that. All right, you've indicated that margins are sustainable, so 14% and above, or is there scope to improve margins higher than that? No, certainly there is a scope to improve the margin. This quarter the margins increased because of two, three reasons. As we had said that our utilization was very low, so we had to set that right. And the second thing, uh, we wanted to put the pyramid in place. Uh, and uh, so we have hired a lot of freshers uh, during uh, this time. 
uh, which allowed us to uh, allowed uh, us to really correct the pyramid and the cost structure and then actually growth helps uh, and so absolutely the quality of growth in terms of offshore and um, the margins uh, that becomes important so we believe that these are uh, certain areas which we have put in place which will uh, ensure uh, uh, the similar uh, you know improvement uh, in the profitability even uh, going forward so we believe that we we, we have still a few percentage points to uh, improve our performance uh, in q4 Okay, uh, Mr. Patel, all verticals have done well except manufacturing. Why has manufacturing showed this decline? So, uh, it is uh, nothing uh, specific. I mean, uh, uh, I, I think there is, uh, if I understand correctly, there is a, it's a flattish more, uh, a very marginal uh, degrowth. I think it, it uh, happens because of one or two large customers, uh, you know, swings or some of the large projects. But uh, there is nothing uh, which uh, warrants that. Actually, we believe that uh, in the areas like both in Europe and Asia, we have a very strong pipeline in manufacturing. Okay, let me revisit the margin point then. The Q2 margins had a negative impact of 200 to 225 basis points because of a wage hike, which, which, which will not be there in Q3. So shouldn't margins increase by 200 basis points all else equal? No, so uh, I would not say that because uh, of multiple things. And actually, this uh, uh, salary increases would be there. Also, we do our uh, some corrections or promotions, uh, you know, in the, in this quarter. That will be there. As I said, uh, there is a, there are a lot of leaves people consume uh, during this both Diwali as well as Christmas. So in that sense, uh, this quarter uh, uh, does not allow us to expand uh, that margin on operational performance. So, uh, <clears throat> once growth picks up in FI17, what will be the margin range? No, we, as I mentioned to you, we, we still have, uh, you know, uh, headroom for uh, uh, improving the margins. Um, naturally, uh, last quarter uh, we were also held by uh, dollar rupee rate um, and, uh, you know, it also plays a certain part. But uh, we still believe that uh, over next, uh, uh, you know, year um, uh, 12 to 18 months, we have uh, certainly 3-4% uh, 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 percentage which uh, we can improve, uh, barring any, you know, uh, unfavorable currency movements. All right. So, uh, can you tell us what are the plans with the cash on books that you have of almost 440 crores? So we uh, we have uh, we have a significant uh, focus on improving the cash flow, and uh, we were in a position to reduce the DSO significantly. Our cash flows uh, and a very strong uh, recovery during the quarter, and uh, uh, I think that has been one of the uh, uh, questions in terms of how we can uh, convert our uh, profits into cash for the quarter. So I think this quarter showed us a very strong performance on that count. All right, we leave it at that. Thank you very much, Mr. Patel, for joining us uh, with those numbers. They have definitely fired up uh, investors and traders today. That stock up about 12%.